feel good to see me and Tati. Today we have three simple rope twist or rope braid styles. I do one on Quincy's hair, but it's great for toddler hair as well because it's just in the crown. And then we do two pigtail type styles on Lucy. So before we get started, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like it. You can also subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our future tutorials. And you can follow us over on Instagram and Facebook where we post multiple styles per week. All right, let's get started. We will start with damp hair in the crown section sprayed with spray gel and a part line that is about one inch off of the center part. Part off the crown section and clip the other hair out of the way. Take a one inch diagonal section split it in two take the front piece and cross it over top of the back piece. Add a one inch section to the front piece, smooth it out and cross it over top of the back piece. Again, add a one inch section to the front piece, smooth and then cross over top of the back. Continue adding in the hair section by section until you finish adding in the hair from this crown section that we parted off. Secure this with an elastic at that back corner. Now take about a two inch section above the ear all the way back on the crown and secure this section in an elastic at the back corner. Add some bows like these cute ones from LaBelle Baby, which I will link in the description below. And that's style number one. For style number two, we will start with a center part damp hair sprayed with spray gel. Again, I will link these products in the description below this video. We'll part off the hair in the crown section a few inches above the ear, and then we will split this into two sections, forming two squares. Secure this back section in the back corner. Secure the front section in the center of this section. And repeat on this opposite side.
Now we'll take this front ponytail and split it in two. Twist each section to the right and cross over the left. Twist to the right, cross to the left. Twist to the right and cross to the left. And continue doing this until this ponytail or the rope twist reaches the opposite side. Then we'll be securing it with an elastic to that back opposite ponytail. And we'll repeat on this other side. Secure that rope braid to the opposite ponytail in the back and add some cute bows in that style number two. For style number three, start in the crown section with damp hair and part this section off. Start with your comb at the part line and go in a curve towards the back corner. Clip that hair out of the way and then we'll repeat in the front going the opposite direction. So start with your comb at that point and curve it towards the back. And I wanted it a little bit bigger so I'm going to repeat here. And then you will take that oval section in the middle and clip that out of the way. Then we'll take the front section add a little bit of water and spray gel then I'll take a small one inch section in the front, split it into two, cross the front over top of the back, add a small section to the front piece, cross it over top of the back, add a small section to the front piece, cross it over top of the back, and we will continue this all the way around until we reach that back corner. Once I have finished adding all of the hair in, I will twist each piece to the right and cross to the left a few times and then clip this rope braid out of the way. Now I'll be taking that back section and starting at the front point, I will take a one inch section and split it into two. Now I will be crossing the back piece over top of the front piece and adding hair to the back piece. And I will continue by adding hair to that back piece and crossing over top of the front piece. And continue this all the way around until it reaches the back corner.
To finish, we will secure all three sections, including both rope braids and that center oval section that we clipped off with an elastic. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye. Bye.